The vast majority of people think that their house is an asset. Best-selling author and investment guru Robert Kiyosaki put forward the opposite opinion, that your house is in fact a liability in his popular book, Rich Dad Poor Dad. We have our own take on this based on our real world experiences and our knowledge as investors. Is your house an asset? Let's check it out. Welcome to Money and Jackal, the investment channel that sets you and your finances free. I'm Andy, this is Ben, and if you like what we say, hit the like button and click subscribe and check out some of the sweet cashback offers in the description below where you can earn hundreds of pounds in cashback. Let's get into it. What Rich Dad Said Robert Kiyosaki made his name by controversially telling people that their house is not an asset. He was widely ridiculed at the time by the mainstream, but built up a massive cult following amongst investors who saw the wisdom in his words. Strictly speaking, your house is an asset according to the accounting definition in that it has a positive cash value. But according to Rich Dad, investment assets pay you money, which increase your spendable wealth. Your house does not do this. Sure, it can and probably will go up in value, but so does every other property in the country. When you sell your home to buy another, any increase in the valuation goes towards buying your next home, which also has gone up in value, and therefore price. If you can't sell a property to realise its cash value, because you live in it, then it isn't contributing towards your liquid wealth. Your house as a liability. Liabilities are things that cost you money. Your house needs regular maintenance. Decorating, new furniture, council tax, mortgage interest payments and utility bills to keep it going. Not to mention the legal fees and stamp duty to move home each time. Your house is a source of crippling monthly expenditure that makes you poorer for having it. A liability. But with proper management, can your home also work in your favour? Three major life hacks to make money from your home. We accept that your home is a liability. But there are three main ways in which we can see that it is possible to make some serious money from your home and offset or exceed some or all of those crippling expenses. Home life hack number one, lodgers. One for people who don't mind sharing their space with a friend or two or more. Lodgers pay you hundreds a month, even into the thousands in London. Why stop at one? You could pack your house full of lodgers and turn your home into a gold mine. I knew someone once that rented out every single room in the house and then slept on the couch. Home life hack number two, Northwood cash shedding. If you own a home in the south, by moving north later in life you can realise hundreds of thousands of pounds in capital growth as a result of moving from an area where house prices are huge to an area where they are much lower. A three bedroom house around London could cost you upwards of a million pounds, whereas that same property in the north would only cost £200,000. We appreciate that most people wouldn't want to uproot themselves like this, but even downsizing can free up capital. Put that £800,000 difference in your back pocket and treat yourself to a beer. Home life hack number three, remortgaging, aka equity release. When you change your mortgage, you get the option of adding an additional loan amount for home improvement. I used this life hack to borrow an extra £50,000 on my house at record low interest rates. It cost me about 2% to borrow this money. I invested it straight away into buy to let investment property and took home a return of around 20%. We don't encourage those that are risk averse to take this course of action, but the returns are there for the taking for those that can stomach a little extra risk. Beware the new build premium. This is because new builds come with a premium for being shiny and untouched often tens of thousands of pounds over the normal market rate for an equivalent older house. Like when you drive a new car off the forecourt, your new build home will plummet in value as soon as you take the keys, making your ability to borrow on your home unlikely in the early years. My own home is a new build and I was fully aware of the new build premium when I bought it, but I was not really concerned because I bought my home as a place to live in, not an investment. Conclusion. Your home is not an asset. It is by default an expense generating liability, but it need not be as big a liability as everyone else's. Tap into the life hacks in this video to set yourself apart from your peers. Buy your house and make it pay. Question of the day. Have you accepted that your home is a liability or have you made it pay? Let us know in the comment section. 
Thanks for watching. On this channel, we talk a lot about personal finance, investing, and all things money. And if you want to see more great content, please click the subscribe button below. This is MoneyUnshackled.com. See you next time.